The last three verses of Psalm 77 says, The water saw you, O God. The water saw you and writhed. The very depths were convulsed. The clouds poured down water. The skies resounded with thunder. Your arrows flashed back and forth. Your thunder was heard in the whirlwind. Your lightning lit up the world. The earth trembled and quaked. Your path led through the sea, your way through the mighty waters, though your footprints were not seen. These verses point to the almighty power that God has, yet also to the personal side of Him. And in our worlds, we tend to rest in areas and we don't recognize God in them. But it's so important for us to be able to reflect, to look, to see where God is. And if we know someone that needs to see these words and know these words as well, would you turn them to these words, but also turn them to Psalm 77, because it's so important that they know that God is in control, that He's almighty, that He's all-powerful, but He's also personal and loving and passionate about you and me. Across the sky flashed scenes from his life. For each scene, he noticed two sets of footprints in the sand, one belonging to him and the other to the Lord. When the last scene of his life flashed before him, he looked back at the footprints in the sand. He noticed that many times along the path of his life, there was only one set of footprints. He also noticed that it happened at the very lowest and saddest times in his life. This really bothered him, and he questioned the Lord about it. Lord, you said that once I decided to follow you, you'd walk with me all the way. But I have noticed that during the most troublesome times in my life, there is only one set of footprints. I don't understand why when I needed you most, you would leave me. The Lord replied, my precious child, I love you and I would never leave you. During your times of trial and suffering, when you only see one set of footprints, it's when I was carrying you. We'll see you next week.